Hi, we're the Strucks from Operation48Travel.com. And this is our van. We're living in him right now, and he's a cranky old man from Wisconsin. Let's go check him out. So this guy's been really good to us. We love him a lot. However, you may have heard me say that he was a cranky old man, and that is because if we are making him do something he doesn't want to do, he moans and groans a lot, but he always gets us there. So we have two means of security. This here baseball bat, and this can of pepper spray used against assailants who try to steal our stuff. <laughs> Wait, have you had to use those yet? No. Now let's check out the kitchen. So we got all the basics that you usually have in your kitchen at home, just much smaller scale and not quite as practical. So we got a fridge. This can hold about 20 cans of beer. And we got some cheese sticks in there right now. We've got some drawers to hold uh, utensils and the like. Spatulas, forks, knives. And then we got a snack drawer. We got some pistachios here. And we got another drawer of snacks. Cajun trail mix. Great value. We cook on this propane stove here. Works pretty well. The propane just connects right here. Heats up really fast, just like your normal stove. It's got two burners. Make two things at the same time. And then, last but not least, we got the sweet water pump with our water jug down here. Just pump it with your hand. Straight from the well. That's some good water. It's not every night that we have a nice campsite like this with no one around. Sometimes we have to stay in Walmart parking lots. It's not glamorous. But there is a way that we maintain some of our privacy. So we got these curtains. Actually, I made these curtains. I'll flip them around. This is the cute side, but they have, um, what is this called? Reflectix. Reflectix inside. Um, and then I put black felt on the back so that when these are up, it looks like we just have tinted windows and there's no one sleeping in the car. And also we can't see outside. So we feel like we kind of have some privacy. Um, and the way these are installed, um, Pretty much you just put them in the door and they just kind of stick in there. Come around here. So as you can see, you can't even really tell that anything is different about this window. <laughs> Should we, um, we have this curtain. So we have those. We have those curtains for the four side windows and the back window. And then to shield this part off, we have this curtain that we just kind of tuck in the door. Like that, you just slam it in the door and hope that you don't hit your fingers. But then we have complete privacy. So as you can see, our bed is lofted and we did that for a very specific reason so we could bring more stuff. Um, we got pretty much our clothes, we got some underwear here, regular clothes here. Um, there's a bunch of camping supplies hidden way back there because we never use those. We always just sleep in the van. It's way easier. Um, camera stuff, um, our battery for charging everything. Yeah, that's about it. The loft is just built with uh, four legs, plus there's a support in the middle. 
And then it has these here L brackets. I don't know if you can see that or not, mm -hmm. but it helps support the leg from collapsing itself. Now, fortunately, we have a pretty good source of power. Not enough power to allow, allow us to boondock like, I don't know, a week at a time, but maybe two days. We've got a battery down here, which I gotta unplug everything. Ugh. It weighs 35 pounds. It's called a Yeti Goal Zero. It has like, uh, I don't even know anything about power, but it can last probably two days without a charge, depending on how much you're using it. Two days for us. We use it to um, plug in our fridge. So um, there's just like a cig cigarette charger that goes into here. Um, we can charge our cell phones, USB, and then um, we can do AC power too with the plugs. Um, the way we charge it is by driving. A lot of people charge these things by hooking them up to solar panels. But um, for our purposes, we don't stay in one place very long, so we do a lot of driving and it charges enough for um, what we need it to do. So when we're driving, the bed is only five feet long. And you're probably like, hey, this dude's probably like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, okay, I'm 5'11". <laughs> but we can make it to six feet, which is maybe still a little uncomfortable, but it's a lot better than five feet. So we built these extension pieces. So the first thing we got to do is move the chairs forward. And then make sure they're standing perfectly straight up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Fold the sheets back. By the way, our mattress is made of air mattress, sort of like pad deals, and then like a foam topper with a comforter. So, first thing we gotta do is push these extension pieces forward. This supports the weight of our heads and this board here, which just flips over on a hinge. Wasn't my idea. I've seen it on YouTube like a hundred times, but it's kinda cool either way. Now the bed is six feet long. Much better. Get in there. Okay. Perfect. So that was the tour of our van. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're really glad that there's no smell feature on YouTube because it smells really bad in here. <laughs> but um, yeah, subscribe to our channel. Hit us up on our website, operation48travel.com. Yeah, do it. <laughs> the end. It's only been seven days since we showered. <laughs>